Today, St George is a patron saint of England, and his flag is associated with the country and its various sporting teams. However, St George was not the first saint of England, and the man who was was St Edmund, also known as Edmund the Martyr, who was the King of East Anglia in the 9th century. However, he was made a martyr following a brutal execution at the hands of the Vikings. So join us today as we look at the brutal execution of King Edmund, the martyr of East Anglia. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Edmund was born in 841, and there are differing stories as to who his father was. It's believed he was descended from the kings of East Anglia, and when King Ethelweld died in 854, Edmund, aged around 14, succeeded onto the throne. Very little is known about his early life and reign, mostly due to the fact that the Vikings, when they devastated East Anglia, destroyed all of the charters that talked about Edmund, and documented his life and what he did. It was thought that he was a good king, and was a model ruler. It has been said that he treated all of his people with equality and equal justice, and that he was also very strong-willed. It's believed that he spent a year living in the coastal settlement of Hunstanton, and it was here where he devoted himself to his religion. It was against the Vikings that his downfall came. In the year 793, the Vikings raided Lindisfarne and pillaged the monastery there. They devastated the monastic community, burning down the abbey and massacring the monks who lived there, stealing all of the wealth. The raids on isolated monastic communities continued, but in 844, there was a significant large-scale attack that took place in England. The Vikings began to settle over winter in England, and a larger force appeared in the country around the year 865. This saw a huge invasion force hit the country, and specifically they landed off the east coast of England. The Vikings spent their first winter in East Anglia, before moving on and heading north to Northumbria the following year. It's believed that Edmund fought alongside King Alfred of Wessex against the Viking and Norse invaders until 869. It was said in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle that here the heathen army rode across Mercia into East Anglia and took winter quarters at Thetford and that the East Anglian King Edmund fought against them. It was said that during the battle against the Vikings, the Danish took the victory and killed the king and conquered all of the land. It's believed that against the Vikings, King Edmund was killed by the invaders, but the circumstances of his death are said to have been particularly brutal. Edmund was told to renounce his Christian faith, and he refused to do so, and allegedly he was then executed in terrifying fashion. It was said in a 10th century account that Edmund, the king of East Anglia, was tied to a tree by the Vikings. He had been beaten badly, and he cried out for Christ. However, whilst tied to the tree... The Vikings fired many different arrows into the king, peppering his body with arrows from the bows. This almost killed him, and after this he was cut away from the ropes, and was then beheaded by the Danes. Another account says how King Edmund, against whom Ivar advanced, stood inside his hall, and mindful of the saviour, threw out his weapons. The impious one then bound Edmund and insulted him, and beat him with rods, and afterwards led the devout king to a firm living tree, and tied him there with strong bonds, and beat him with whips. In between the whip lashes, Edmund called out with true belief in the Saviour Christ. Because of his belief, because he called out to Christ to aid him, the heathens became furiously angry. They then shot spears at him, as if it was just a game, until he was entirely covered with their missiles, like the bristles of a hedgehog. When Ivor, the impious pirate, saw the noble king would not forsake Christ, but with absolute faith called after him, he ordered Edmund beheaded, and the heathens did so. Whilst Edmund still called out to Christ, the heathens dragged the holy man to his death, and with one stroke struck off his head, and his soul journeyed happily to Christ. The Vikings, after conquering East Anglia and killing the king, then went on to invade Wessex. Edmund was then buried in a wooden chapel, near to where he was killed, and during the reign of Athelstan, his body was moved to modern-day Bury St Edmunds. A stone abbey was built on the site that became a site of pilgrimage, and a court around St Edmund grew throughout the medieval period. His shrine became a site of great wealth, but it was destroyed during the dissolutions of the monastery in 1539, 
and the English Reformation. The shrine was defaced, and silver and gold worth over 5,000 marks were stolen and taken, with the abbots and monks of the abbey thrown out. Edmund the Martyr's death and execution is a brutal part of history that is rather forgotten. He was a king of East Anglia, and was considered a patron saint of England. He is believed to have been a good king, and a devoted one to his religion, but he met his end in a very brutal and bloody manner, being shot with arrows by the Vikings, before being beheaded. Once again thanks for watching. To support our channel please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.